Hey guys, what's going on? Tassin here. So uh, today we'll be uh, doing the golem, wherever the golem's at, right there. All right, and uh, what you'll need is uh, desert robes, which is very suggested. Lots of water skins. I probably won't need this many though. I'm a worry wart, so I always bring it. A knife just in case. Um, papyrus, four soft clay, a pestle and a, a pestle and mortar. Um, I would suggest bringing a hammer and a chisel because near the end of the quest we can get a, um, we'll be at the throne and we can get two rubies, two sapphires, and two emeralds from the, uh, from the throne, so it's easy, uh, it's easy stuff. So, just go ahead, give them your shanty pass, and let's go ahead, get started. You won't need to kill anything, so, um, I'll take those just in case I ever need them. We're going to run here to the east. Okay, camel. Cross this bridge. A couple of bronze arrows. This is also where you can, um, where you can um, uh, hunt for orange salamanders and birds. And go north a little bit. I went too far and you're gonna get to these runes. Um, I can't remember what they're called. It's like, uh, God, I don't remember. So, to start the quest, we're gonna talk to the golem, Broken Craig. Broken clay golem. And he's gonna ask you to repair him, so use your use your soft clay, all all four on him. And now he said, Oh, I have to do I was programmed to defeat an enemy. So you're like, okay, what enemy? So, we're, there's a letter right over here, pick it up, read it, don't really need to read it. We're going to go over here, down the stairs, we're going to go over here and pick a black mushroom. Oh, I'm sorry. I completely forgot we needed one thing. I gotta go get a vial. I'll be right back. Hey guys, so I banked and um, we're supposed to use the black mushroom with the pestle and mortar here and get this vial. Now, um, one thing the guy didn't tell me is that, well, not that it didn't tell me, but it didn't recommend Barak Ruin teleports. We have to go to the dig site. So I will go ahead and I will meet you at the dig site. I also suggest bringing another um, teleport ruins to... Barak because we're going to have to come back to the curator over in the museum and so I'm going to uh, I'm going to start it back up when I'm at the dig site. Alright guys, so we're here at Alyssa about the northeast corner of the dig site. I want to talk to her. Tell her you found a letter with your name on it. And so we're going to go back to the exam center and we're going to search for a book so I'm going to start it back up when I get there. Alright, so we're at the exam center. We're going to go here to the southeast corner search the bookcases here you're gonna find his expedition varmin's expedition notes now that we've read the book we're gonna head to Barak and we're going to go talk to the curator which is the guy in the Barak museum which is just over here to the northeast He's going to tell you you can't have it, so you're going to steal his key. Alright, and where is... I'm going to have to find the display case, guys. Give me one second. 
Alright, so you're gonna go upstairs and it's the one the fourth one down. Use the key on it and you're gonna take the statue. Now um, I will meet you guys back at the Shanty Pass and uh, we're gonna need to do something before we head back to the uh, tent before we head back to the oozer uh, uh, oozer ruins, I think they're called. So I'll start it back up when I get there. Alright guys, so we're back at the Shanty Pass. We're gonna go through it again. Obviously proceed. I mean, we're not gonna die here. I finally stopped being such a worry wart and lessen some of my water skins. So we're gonna go ahead and run um, like we're going to run to the ruins, but we're not gonna we're not gonna go exactly there yet. So just keep heading east. Then after we cross this bridge, we're going to go north. Keep going, keep going. And you're going to see this desert phoenix. So run to it and grab a feather. Oh, I didn't grab one. Just keep going until you get one. Alright, there we go. That's the first time I've ever actually failed trying to take that. So let's go southeast and um, go to southeast and head to the ruins now. The, rest of, the quest is basically almost over once we get there. We just got to do a couple more things. So we're going to go back down here. And so now you see these four statues. To be able to get that door open, we're going to have to uh, we're going to have to turn the statues all inward. So we're going to place the statue. We're going to keep turning it until it's, it's until they're all facing inward. I believe it's all... Ah, no, I didn't want to do that. Okay. So after you uh, face them all towards the door, well, at least I got 40 strength. <laughs> we're going to go in. And uh, first thing we're going to do is go over here. If you brought your chisel and your hammer, use your chisel with the throne. And you're going to get two rubies, two emeralds, and two sapphires. Now, to me, that's definitely worth bringing a couple extra items. So now we're going to go back here to the, um, and we're going to examine the skeleton over here. And it's going to be like, well, it looks like the demon's actually dead. So... Oh, I'm sorry. Don't leave yet. <laughs> I'm going to go over here to the northwest, and there's something we need to grab. Oh, I'm guessing it was that, uh, was that one thing I was trying to look at. My bad, guys. So, go ahead. Don't come back in here. This is where you're going to have to defeat the demon in Shadow of the Storm, which I will be making a video for very soon. So, we're going to head over here. We're going to get this strange implement. That's what I thought, but I tend to second-guess myself, and I don't know why. Normally, the first thing I think of is I'm right, but whatever. So, head, up, head back up to the golem. So 
So slow. Okay, talk to him. And you're going to try and convince him that the demon's dead. And he's going to be like, no, my task is incomplete. I haven't, um, I haven't defeated, I haven't defeated him yet. So we're going to use the quill with the ink. And then we're going to use the phoenix quill with the papyrus. And then we're going to use a strange implement with the golem. And then we're going to use the papyrus with him. Now he's like, oh, yay, he's dead. Now I can rest in peace. So you get 1k crafting and 1k thieving XP and a plus point. And we can now do Shadow of the Storm. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope this was helpful to you. Please subscribe, like my videos, comment on them if you think anything needs to be improved. I would like to hear from you guys. And keep a lookout for the rest of my videos. Thanks for watching.